Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler 2 walkthrough. I'm just starting out here in uh, Conning Creek. I'm actually going to start Oswald's Chapter 3. Um, you know, I, I've kind of taken some detours here and, and done some of the other character stories uh, prior to Oswald, you know, in his Chapter 3. Um, you know, part of me wishes that I would have just done Oswald's Chapter 3 after uh, kind of all my random exploration stuff, but... Um, you know, I don't know, it is what it is, and, uh, you know, and, and, and kind of keep it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, like, like, basically do his story start to finish, right, but, um, at this point, you know, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think so. Anyways, uh, let's just pretend that, uh, <laughs> that I'm just getting done with Oswald's, uh, chapter two. Um, but let's go with Hero Tale, and we'll go with the, uh, main story, chapter three for him. So finally, Oswald is free of Frigid Isle, uh, taking revenge upon Harvey. The man who framed him for the murder of his own wife and child is all he can think of as he makes his way back to Conning Creek, where his home once stood. Conning Creek. All I had was right here. And in the blink of an eye, it was taken from me. Harvey. I shall have my revenge on you! <sighs> Where is he hiding? I've no idea where he went after the fire. Perhaps there's some trace of him where my home once stood. And one other matter weighs heavily on my mind. Right then, to work. All right, looks like there's some travel banter here, so let's take a look. Tell me something, Oswald. You escaped from Frigid Isle, right? I wouldn't be here otherwise. How did it feel when you finally escaped? Uh, it didn't feel any particular way. You didn't feel anything when you won your freedom? No sense of liberation? If I do, it will come after finishing what I set out to do. You mean when you get your revenge? I can see the collar around your neck, Professor. You may have fled your cage, but you're still a prisoner too. Too? So you feel just as trapped. Huh? Throne, eh? Alright, let's uh, head on into the Conning Creek outskirts. Five years ago, it was reduced to ash. I ventured into the nearby forest to be alone with my thoughts. It was part of my daily routine. A bad habit. When I returned, everything was gone. I was seized by the town guards. And haven't been back since. Welcome home, my dear. I see the conference was a rousing success. <laughs> Indeed. Forgive me for being away so long. Welcome home, Papa! Oh, Helena, my dear. Aren't you tired? Let me take your things. They're a bit heavy for you, yet, but, uh, I appreciate the offer. Here, take this instead. What a pretty pen! Thank you, Papa! I searched all over, and I'm sorry to say I found nothing better to give you. Come now. When else can you bury yourself in your studies if not at a conference? 
Come, Elena. There is math to teach you. Yay! <laughs> oh, you too. Papa, wait! Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Am I? You didn't say I'm home yet! I'm home. It's so quiet now. Time to search for clues. Harvey and I both sought the one true magic. He wanted my research, no doubt. Which would lead him to my study. As I suspected, my study is intact. And what's more, he's stolen every last one of my formulae. Were they ordinary spells, I would not miss them. The one true magic, however, requires vastly more complicated calculations. I built those equations myself. All but the last missing piece. Harvey, however, took a different approach. So why did he want my formulae? You there! Who are you? Oh my. Oh, my, my, my. Lady Clarissa, my assistant. It's been quite some time. It is I, Oswald. Have you looked after the study during my prolonged absence? Hmm. Hmm. Oswald, you? What a fanciful tale. Oswald is locked away on Frigid Isle. No, I am here. I have escaped, as you can see. What proof have you? <laughs> Do you think me an imposter? You have his figure, but that is not enough. The research gathered here is a pile of riches to the people of this town. There are ruffians who would go so far as to impersonate Oswald if it meant stealing his work. What peculiar reasoning. One cannot arrive at the truth without considering every possibility. That is what the Oswald I know told me. <laughs> now. Hmm. <laughs> The real Oswald would know how to withstand my magic. And so the result of this duel shall determine whether you be true or not. My dear assistant. You never were the type to let go of a pet theory. Very well. I have no choice but to help you test your hypothesis. And give you your answer. Future hinges on this battle. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I thought this was gonna be a duel. Rise, fierce wind. A week. I Later, Clarissa. Insight. Oh, there, kind of resistant nut. Magnificent. Are you satisfied? 
power. Yes, you could be none other. Welcome back, Oswald. Thank you. I hope I haven't injured you. If that were enough to exhaust me, I would have no choice but to forfeit my position as your assistant. I have always believed you were innocent, you know. Oh? On what grounds? On the grounds that you are who you are. I'm afraid I don't follow. <laughs> I am delighted to see you still take things far too seriously. So, why have you returned? To search for Harvey. I see he left no trace here. Harvey. You, Oswald, were the only scholar of magic present at the scene. That was the justification provided for the guilty verdict. Yet there Harvey was, standing before me while everything burned. And still they insist he was not there. So I must also suspect the guard unit that restrained me. I shall investigate their ties to Harvey. Your husband was a guard, yes? Might he know anything? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Oswald. Hmm. Then I shall ask the townsfolk. What will you do once you've investigated this case? Okay, let's, uh, oh, hang on a second here. Oh, can't, uh, can't interact with, uh, Clarissa in any way, unfortunately. What? How is there a treasure chest over here that I haven't opened? Okay. Whoa. Young man born and raised in Concrete, he his significantly older brother joined the guard, only to be suddenly and unreasonably discharged. His sibling protested naturally only to be threatened by the captain of the guard himself. He still lives in fear of that threat to this day. Okay. Hmm. That's a little weird. So the guards who had been serving for a long time were suddenly discharged. Uh, they were then regrettably replaced by ruffians from the eastern continent. People say it was all Captain Stenvar's doing. Can't stand him. He acts like he owns this whole town. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Whoa. Well. Alright, street vendor here. Brought to this town for marriage some years ago, her ability to extract worthwhile information from even the most everyday gossip has led to a profitable career selling what she knows to an information broker. Hmm. Oops, I need to do that again. Main, a man named Stenbar has been in charge of this town's guards for a few years now, but no one has a kind word to say about him. I heard he has secret ties to some strange scholar. Probably someone saw the two meeting before that incident five years ago. Ooh, and in, uh, probably uh, Harvey are they referring to? Or is she referring to? Do my guess. What's the, the head cook? Man who visit, vividly remembers the day five years ago when his, when Flames claimed a wife and her child in Conan Creek. Something about the ensuing investigation never felt quite right, so he quietly wonders if there is more to the story. <laughs> Have you seen the ruins on the east side of town? There used to be a house there, but it burnt down. The guards investigated the incident for only a few days before calling it quits. You think they'd need at least a couple of weeks to get to the bottom of something so horrible. Hmm, yeah, interesting. 
As I thought, the guards are my best lead. It was Stenvar, their captain, who ordered me investigated. It is my understanding he had a clandestine meeting with Harvey before the incident. He ought to still be at the guard's main outpost. I shall seek him out. Lady Clarissa. You aim to have your revenge. Is that it? Do you remember my husband? Ethan? How could I forget him? He referred you to me. He passed away. Not long after the incident. He washed up in the harbor. They claim he took his own life. He'd no reason to do such a thing. And the guards never investigated further. Before the incident, well, it felt like he knew something. Then will you not investigate his death? Nothing begets nothing. Those are your words. Revenge is nothing, Oswald. It is empty and hollow. Even so, I must go. Stenvar, Captain of the Guard. I must go to the outpost at which he's been stationed. All right, so we've got some travel banter here. Let's take a look. Say, partner, how'd you come to know that couple? Long ago, a thief broke into my laboratory. It was none other than Ethan who app apprehended the intruder. He caught a glimpse of my research and recommended his wife as an assistant. As it turns out, she had also been researching the seventh source. And so Clarissa became your assistant. Despite my insistence that I had no need of help, he wore me down over a month of visits, darkening my door with his head bowed. Ha <laughs> uh, Why did he go that far, I wonder? To this day, I know not, but he would tell me early and often, Clarissa has ceased her own research in order to support me. And that troubles me. Ah, uh, I see what happened. Folks are at their best when they've got work that gives them purpose, and I reckon Ethan wanted to see his wife had the same. What a peculiar reason. I don't think I follow. Alright, so this building's finally open. <laughs> Danger level 18. Okay. Very dangerous. Or, you know, not at all. Out of my way. Hmm. Reduce them to ash. You're finished. I've seen worse methods. Side or fight. Ready? Fire, burn. Who's next? I take what I want. Do you now? Jesus, I have so many weapons. Huh. Oh man, I thought 
So I thought there was a dagger that did a uh, fire attack, but I don't think that's the case. I think I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, probably thinking of something else. I should probably have that. No, I don't know. I was gonna say I should probably have that dagger on uh, on what's his name on uh, Ikari for the counter attack, but. I don't know, I feel like uh, that dagger that I've got is pretty good, too. Uh... All a quarter hour a week. I've gained valuable insight. Let the experiment begin. Now then. Broke, you're finished. Mm. I've seen worse methods. What? Oh, <laughs> there we go. I'll do what I must. I need a plan. A bizarre little hallway here. I'll record how we study harder. It just leaves. God, so lame. Who are you? Huh. That bear like build. Wait, I remember you. Oswald B. Vanstein. In the flesh. You're presumed dead in a botched escape attempt from Frigid Isle. I seek Harvey. Do you know where he is? Hmm. You met with him in secret before my family burned. None other than the late husband of Lady Clarissa attested as much. But you refused to hear him, and had him killed instead. In exchange for Harvey's coin. <laughs> my, my. You scholars certainly are a shrewd lot. I confess, I aided and abetted Harvey. Facts are malleable things, you see. The powerful can bend them to their will. Provided they have enough coin, that is. <laughs> I'm rather fond of coin. It can't be bent the same way. Hell, I'd do anything for it. It has given me all you see before you. <laughs> Quit stalling. Where is he? Wish I knew. Doesn't matter, though. I can't let you go. Too much now, and that's not good for me. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Oswald B. Vanstein, the tragic scholar. Let's see how malleable those bones of yours are. What a waste of time. Stempar <laughs> uses his guards as a shield. Typical villain behavior. Alright. <laughs> 
Wait, guards? Yourself. What guards? You're in for it now. I've got good. There you go. For the That's prime that. coup. Axe of Avarice. That sounds fun. Please have mercy. Spare me my life. It is not your life I want. It's Harvey's. Where is he? I, I swear I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Spare me your sniveling. You're sure he told you nothing? Oh, oh yes, that's right. I've just remembered something. The research he stole from you, it's been sent to Montwise. On Harvey's orders. Montwise. Has he taken it to the library there? My precious coin! Ah, but he's a careful man. He won't have left an obvious trail. Did he know I would come for him? Montwise. A town on the eastern continent. The city where Harvey and I met. Harvey wanted Stenvar to tell me where he'd gone. That's why he let Stenvar live. He knew I would escape. That I would follow him. You want me to follow you, don't you, Harvey? If so, I'll play along. I'll fall right into your trap. Oswald. You're going after him, aren't you? I've done what I came here to do. You must not be seen with me. I remain a wanted man. But I am your loyal assistant. My husband knew he was in danger. Before he died, he made me swear an oath. Bear no resentment against anyone, no matter what happens to me. Live your life for you. I wish to honor his memory. To forgive all transgressions against me, to devote what time I have left to study. How peculiar. Does an oath to the dead hold any meaning? No, I must confess. This is... This is simply a show of my love. Hmm. Oswald, please. Your family rests in the ground. Will you not visit them? I forgot what love was a long time ago. I must find Harvey. That is everything. Oswald. All right, Oswald puts the town he once called home behind him. He can't bear to visit the graves of his wife and daughter. Not yet. How can he face them when he's done nothing to avenge them? The fire within him yet burns. This he swears. He shall not return until it's all over. Until the fire within has burnt out. All right, Oswald the Scholar. Chapter 3, End. Good stuff. I like that one. Short and sweet. 
All right, let's see this travel banter here. Oswald, your journey is one of revenge, is it not? My mother often told me the road of resentment is one shrouded in darkness. It's dangerous to go on carrying all that vengeance in your breast. Why not take a moment to reflect on your purpose? Shrouded in darkness, you say? My wife once said something similar. Is that so? No matter how dark the path, it is the one I must walk. There you go. Gotta, just gotta do it. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks like that's gonna be it for this one. So as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.